On One finally announced On One Photo Raw 2023, and it's coming in October of 22. Now, I wanted to go over a few of the features and then talk about the pricing. If you got questions, comments, leave it down below because I think there's going to be some interesting and uh, mixed feelings about this new release. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I have a lot of information. So feel free to use the chapter markers here on YouTube in order to navigate this particular video. You can check the description box below. The link is in there or you can just go to on one. Now, this kind of illustrates some of the things that are included in the new software. But let's just go ahead and scroll down here and click on new features. All right. It's a really nicely designed product page, but let's just look at the new features. So there's a total of 14 because this little oval tells us that there's a total of 14 new features. And I'm not going to go over all of these. They have videos out there on a lot of these. And I think there's some really cool stuff that's coming to on one. Um, I have some concerns about its stability since on one photo raw 2022 seems to just shut down for quite some time. But putting that aside, you have super select AI, which I think is going to be really handy for those of us who don't want to spend a whole lot of time making a lot of mask, uh, you know, painting with the brush. So that could be cool. And then the tack sharp AI. Now, I think that is going to be really good in the event that you take a photo. It may not come out the way that you expected it to. You just barely miss focus or it back focus. Um, this will be able to give you some of that resolution back. I'd like to see what type of artifacts it will produce. But nonetheless, I think that that'll be a great addition. Now, some of the other features here, you know, add presets to areas and two clicks. Uh, you know, I think that that could be helpful if you are into, you know, making your backgrounds look a certain way and your foregrounds look a certain way uh, using a preset. But I don't know how much use will come from that, at least for me. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if that's something you're excited for and, you know, kind of share why. Uh, maybe I'm just missing something with that. Now, the mask AI, I think that is just, you know, we're going into this artificial intelligence, I guess, cycle or world. And it's really starting to make things interesting in the photo editing space. It's making it a lot easier for the normal consumer to edit a photo. So I'm really excited to see that. Uh, but AI is still a little buggy and sometimes doesn't work the way that you want it to. So, you know, I think this is going to give us more time back behind the camera instead of sitting on the computer. So really looking forward to seeing how this mask AI works. And if it works anything like Luminar, I think we'll be OK. Now, here are uh, a few features that I'm actually pretty happy about. All right. The first one being the keyword AI. Now, the keyword AI, I think, is just awesome because one, I use keywords in my photos so I can find them later. But if this can some way, shape or form, read the image and offer up some good keywords, this will help me with categorizing things because maybe the artificial intelligence will think of something that I didn't think of. So, I'm really looking forward to using that and making it a lot easier so I don't have to type a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but again, there's a video on that. But I think that's enough of the features. Uh, you can check this whole feature list out because it looks like they got some pretty cool stuff like content aware crop. Uh, you know, and I don't want to call on one out on this, but the truth is, it seems like they're really trying to mimic Luminar and what I appreciate about on one that Luminar doesn't have is the cataloging feature. And, you know, I think it's nice to get inspiration from other software and programs, but this is almost like they're just trying to merge Luminar into on one. Uh, and, you know, 
not a bad thing. I think that uh, competition is good and it's healthy. So, you know, we'll see. Now, where this actually gets interesting and what inspired me to really make this particular video is the pricing. Now, uh, we've already gone through all the features, so hopefully you can take that idea of, okay, these are the features that on 123 is coming with, and is it right for me to get this software, all right? And I'll say it like that because for a lot of people on this channel, uh, the, the viewers that I've talked to, you are looking to step away from the subscription model and uh, on one is starting to really dive into that subscription model a lot deeper. Um, and that's becoming more evident with this particular release. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you have three options here. OK, you can get the on one everything plus subscription, which is like the top of the line. Everything that on one has to offer, you can get that in a subscription package, which probably won't be a problem for a lot of the things that are in there. You already had to subscribe for if those are things that you were using. So, you know, probably not a big deal. And then you have your uh, middle line. And I really call this the base tier. All right. This is just the on one everything subscription. This is for the people who are coming into on one photo raw and they want to use a lot of the services like the mobile application uh, because you do have to have on one 360 in order to synchronize your photos onto that application. This is where I think a lot of people who are getting into on one, they're going to start with the subscription potentially. Uh, because they still are keeping the outright model and the outright model is actually pretty good. Uh, that's what I'm currently on. I don't have an on one subscription, at least to the software itself. I have a subscription to on one plus and on one 360. So as we come down here, you'll see that a lot of these are similar and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because uh, I really want to talk about the future of on one and what I think it is. I haven't talked to anyone over at on one, but you know, seeing how the market has been going lately, I think that is, uh, it's likely to see this, uh, standalone version go away. And, uh, I'll explain that here in a second, but you can see most of these stay the same, but with the outright version look at how many things you are starting to uh, lose uh, which the first one is obviously upgrades because that makes sense right uh, but the plugins if you have a subscription to either one you get those plugins if you don't have a subscription you have to buy the additional plugins later uh, or separate from your purchase coming down a little bit further you can see the on one cloud sync now, this middle tier is the 200 gigabyte storage, and the, you can see the price down here. It's $89.99, right, uh, for the year, or you can go with a monthly base uh, price here. Or if you want a one terabyte of cloud storage, then you're going to pay $149 for the first year, and you see that little asterisk. It's telling you the subscription, it will be discounted to uh, for $149 for the first year. But then next year, when it renews, it's going to be $179. And that's no different than paying for uh, the annual subscription to the On1360. The only difference here is this comes with On1 Plus membership. So, you know, you really have to make a decision do I need one terabyte of storage first? Uh, but if I eventually want to get into the on one plus membership, which, you know, I think it's a great resource. It's, uh, I use it almost every week. So it's well worth the investment in my opinion, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, but getting the subscription 
that pay, you know, that costs $179 that comes with the cloud sync, the membership and updates. I think that could be worthwhile, right? I'm not trying to upsell anybody or, you know, uh, gas anyone up, so to speak. But the truth is, I think the subscription model is what on one and a lot of companies nowadays are really starting to move people towards because you don't get any of those benefits. You would have to pay extra if you bought the software once. And, you know, this is where you have to make that decision. That's why I covered the features first. If there were enough features in the um, if there were enough features that inspired you to say, you know what, I need to get this new version of on one, then you have to make a decision. Do I subscribe or do I go with a standalone? And this is, you know, obviously I'm talking to those who already own on one because I will get to the upgrade price because this right here is just the, uh, the price for if you're new to on one and you just want to buy the software, no subscription, one time fee. Uh, that's what you would pay if you were just brand new to on one altogether. All right. But uh, if you want to add all five plugins uh, for $79, right? So you got to pay an additional $80, right? You got to pay an additional $80. So it's really the exact same price for a one year subscription. I don't know. Maybe you're better off just getting this if you're new and you want the plugins. You're better off getting this subscription right here uh, if you're going to pay that price, right? Um, that that's that's a decision. Now, some of the other benefits that you get, uh, which this one, any new bonuses and premiums. Uh, if we offer bonuses and extras with Photo Raw in the future, you'll get those for free. That is not an option with the other two packages. I'm not sure what this is because to the best of my memory, uh, on one hasn't had any bonuses or premiums in the past. So again, this is just showing that they really want to start moving people into the subscription model and they're really trying to get everyone involved in the plus membership, the cloud sync, uh, because I think that is the future of on one and they really only have up to go from here, right? They are, in my opinion, directly competing with Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. The features that they're adding, uh, the capabilities, you know, I'm not going to say that it's on par with a, a Photoshop uh, raster image editor, but they're adding a lot of capabilities into their software that allows you to do things that you would normally have to go into Photoshop if you were using only Lightroom. I did tell you at the beginning of this video, I would be curious to see it how stable this particular program is going to be. That's been the Achilles heel of On One in the past. They just have had very unstable software to the point that, uh, you know, sometimes the tech support tells you to revert to an older version. So, you know, if you are a professional who is photographing uh, large events and, you know, you got to get your products done and, you know, turned over, delivered fast, and you need a system that's going to be reliable, you know, you, you kind of gamble with on one. I'm not going to lie. However, I have been able to do a lot of my paid work in on one projects that I've been working on. Uh, but there have been times where I'll be pretty deep in an edit and on one would turn off on me. Uh, and you know, part of that is I'm using an M one chip and companies are having, you know, they're, they're, they're taking their time developing properly for an M one. But I just wanted to make sure that, you know, if you're going to make a decision, especially when we start talking about this much money here, right? Uh, this is a, a big deal of a decision to make if, you know, this is something that you're interested in. Now, if you already own on one as a standalone like myself, 
then this would be $79.99 for the upgrade. And I'm personally, I have a subscription to uh, both On One Plus and On One 360. I am personally debating on just going with this annual plan because I spend this much every year anyway, right? Uh, and it just makes it easier for me to continue getting uh, those items. Now, the problem for me and, you know, some of you may be in the same boat is I've already paid my annual subscription for both the membership and on one 360. So if I go with this option, I essentially paid them double this year for the exact same uh, dollar amount. Now I do get to save about $30 here. If I uh, go with the Supreme package, I don't know. I'm just call it that for now. Um, so, you know, that's something you got to consider now, if you know for a fact that you want to go with this package and you maybe purchased your subscription, it renews in October or November uh, or December, then you might be able to go with this package and then go and cancel those other subscriptions because your annual mark will be based off of the day that you bought this. Now, this isn't Chris making that up. If you scroll down, there are all of these FAQs, and one of them actually talks about that. Uh, and so that's something for you to take into consideration. Read through the FAQs. There's a lot of really good questions on here. And I think that On One did a good job at developing this particular page to help you make a decision. So I'm curious, how many of you are interested in getting On One Photo Raw 2023? And how many of you are like, I don't know if there's enough features to upgrade? Let me know in the comment section below. So with that, I'll leave it there. And I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.